What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, I hope you're all having a great day today. So we are here in Roseburg, Oregon for the winter showdown. Last year at this race, we actually had a pretty good run. I believe we were up front most of it and came out with a solid top five run. Also, all the cars are ready. So we're gonna be running the KTM paint job today. The pit area is a little bit less full than last time. I believe we have about 15 opens and we'll also be doing a pull shuffle tonight. But anyway, let's go look at the track. Okay, so here is the track in Roseburg and every time we come here, it seems like it's a little bit more similar to Red Bluff. This time, they added the little white disc, or I guess at Red Bluff it's orange. They added the discs on the bottom. So at the beginning of the season, they added these Lego walls here at the bottom. And then as the season went on, they added the little inside berm to it, and then now the discs. So I don't run here very often, about two or three times a year. Usually I just run the top side, but we're gonna talk to a few kids in the beginner box and box dot class and see what their tip would be for me. All right, so here, where should I run, you think? Definitely the top. The bottom, it's too flat. It's just kind of hard to get keep it on the bottom. So he's talking about it's really banked up here and down there. It's flattened out a lot like Red Bluff. All right, what do you think? Rip the lip. Perfect. It, if you run the bottom in the box, if you were in the box docks, I suggest you run the bottom. But And then in the straightaways, you could run the top so you could get a smoother transition down to the bottom. Kind of just arc the corner you're talking? Yeah. All right. Do you want me to show them? Run, run the white discs, but don't hit the lip. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. I will definitely use all your guys' tips. That's a pickle. <laughs> oh, are you talking about my mic? No. It kind of. I guess. I guess it kind of looks like it. <laughs> so I'm going to use all their tips, but anyway, we will have hot laps up next. just got over and as I have the classic helmet hair guys I am not joking literally it was so hooked up that was probably the most hooked up I've ever felt the first few laps were totally usual I was like okay feels good felt really really fast like fast but after about five laps I was having a hard time holding on to it I was on the brake all the way through the corner trying to turn the car so I didn't hit the wall it was crazy I haven't really felt that before here at Roseburg I know this place is faster than Red Bluff but it just was weird I was going so fast I'm gonna put a hat on though and we're gonna head down and I'm gonna look at the heat race lineups okay so heat race number three I start full and then in the second heat race it flips so I will start six Pretty exciting. I think I'm gonna put some highlights from the first heat race and the second heat race. So you guys will see me hopefully win the first one and then come from the back in the second one. But yeah, they just started heat races in the background. The beginner box is up, so I'm gonna go get in. With a pole shuffle for the open cage with the top 10 in heat race points. As green flag is out, the 18T of Tanner Holmes, 38, Eric Powers, and Tanner Holmes, high side, leads lap one. Jesse Caldwell running underneath him, trying to overtake him. Tanner Holmes stays out in front. Holmes, Caldwell, Powers, and then it's going to be Wyatt Pinckney in fourth and Reese Slider fifth as it's a battle out in front between Tanner Holmes and Jesse Caldwell. Caldwell in front of Holmes. Holmes driving underneath them. Holmes throwing a slider on Caldwell, but Caldwell answers back with a crossover. Throwing haymakers here at the River Arena Speedway.
Jesse Caldwell secures the lead coming out of turn number four, but Tanner Holmes isn't done fighting yet. Caldwell extends his lead just a little bit. He's got some breathing room. Tanner Holmes second, Eric Powers third, Wyatt Pinkney. Okay, so the first heat race just got over in by far some of the most fun racing I've had in a long time. I started pole, I had Jesse Caldwell behind me, the white knight. Well, now I technically his car is black, so he's not the white knight anymore. But we had a great slider battle. We threw sliders for about two to three laps, and I probably could have thrown another one right back at him, but it's just so rough on the top side. I caught the rough, and then I, there was no getting back by him. He was gone. Jesse is arguably the best outlaw kart driver in the nation right now. He's won some of the biggest races, West Coast Nationals, two years in a row. He just won the outlaw kart Super Bowl in Texas. I'll be in his heat race, though, in number two. I'll start behind him, so hopefully I'll probably just kind of follow him to the front, and then once we get up there, we'll battle again. So the second heat race just got over and I ended up finishing second. So Jesse and I slowly worked our way forward to the front of the field and when he got to second, they docked him. And because he stopped at the wrong official on the racetrack, he was supposed to stop at the back stretch official Well, he stopped at the flag stand. And so Roseburg sent him to the back. Then I got the lead and then after that, Jesse was able to throw a slider on me and he threw it perfectly. Here, you wanna hold this buddy real quick? So what he did is when he slid me, he came up perfectly that my my front bumper hit his rear bumper and then it killed all my momentum. And since Roseburg is a big momentum track, I was kind of just done. I knew I wasn't going to get him back, so I finished second. So we were sitting down here at the entrance of three and four and this track is getting rough on the top side. How they, uh, I don't know if it's how they packed it in because they use a truck, but as you can see, it's just all the way through the corner is just like that. But down here, the top is really fast. It's not as easy to throw a slider down here as one and two. It's not open. Like, it's smooth, but it's not as open. I would say it's a little bit tighter. But the track really hasn't lost that much grip all through the night. It's still pretty tacky, especially down here. No one's really running. Like, this is super grippy. And then up here on the top side, there still is a little bit of grip, too. So all around through the night, I think it's just going to stay on the top through the pull shuffle. So we're going out for the pull shuffle. I have Jesse behind me, who beat and me a few times. Tanner's time. not going to beat me again. Beat me? He beat me two times tonight so far. We might give him a run for his money in the pole shuffle. You're not. I have Johnny, who you guys have seen in the videos before. Oh, yeah. he, so I'm coming for you, Tanner. He starts deep in the pole shuffle. What do you go out, like third? Second. Goes out second. Yeah, okay. Son. So we're going to go out for that right now. You're
I just got out of my car after the pull shuffle, I didn't advance at all. So before, like you said, Johnny, he said he was going to go through the field, and he did. So far, uh, he went 8th to 4th. I just lost to him. I tried to give it everything I had, and I went in the corner, and we both stalled it. I mean, I hit his rear end, and I think I might have half-turned him or something. I wasn't trying to spin him out or anything. I just got in the corner, I hopped, and thought he was going to slide himself, and he, like, stopped on the bottom, so I hit him. It sucks. We're going to start fifth, but that's not horrible. I just, after we both stalled it, I had, I did just not, I just didn't get a good start. I don't know what I was thinking. How they did it was weird. They didn't really communicate, like, one to goes and stuff, and so I wasn't 100% sure if we were going. Going. All right, so the whole trailer is packed up, and we are going to be ready for night number two tomorrow. But yeah, fun night of racing. Uh, how would you describe it? It was all right. There was some interesting stuff. Lots of good sliders, I would say. Yeah, most definitely. Lots of good racing. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it turned out pretty good. Lots of good racing. I almost turned Johnny. I gave. I had some really good racing with Jesse. Uh, that and was the full shelf. We turned him. It, it came I, I didn't even him. give him a chance. They were all like, "What do we do?" Because both of us stopped. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, stay tuned for day number two. Deuces.